Guys, if you don't know already, let's just do a quick debrief. We already know I'm here at Forever, but I work in the United States. This is the first time me and my BFF here in the company, Juanita, have jumped onto a video together to address some of these issues and things out here in the garment printing industry. So if you already don't know, if you're first time tuning in to this and to one of our chats or even to the page, I'm here in the Atlanta office. We are on two different time schedules at the moment, but we still find time to talk to each other, get these times to address things like this in the industry, and just wanted to share with you. So introducing my best friend, best friend over here, Juanita, guys, just a very late on that, but that's my girl right there, handling the business, handling the industry. And if you want to see a lot about Forever, check her out on YouTube. She has been taking over the company YouTube page and holding it down there for the last few years. And also check out her Instagram page, which is the OG Forever Transfers page. I'm Forever Transfers USA. She's the OG Forever Transfers, just Forever Transfers on Instagram and Facebook. Check her out. Sorry, quick little, quick little side note for everybody out there. For yeah. instance, what is something you get asked a lot at Treasure? So Juanita, I know you've been here a lot longer than me. I think, what, seven years you've been with Forever? Yes. Seven. But this year, it's like in November, it's even eight years. It's a eight long time. Yes. thinking years, guys. She's been here for a while. So I want to come to you and then you can reverse the question on me. But yeah. you've been going to these trade shows for years. Forever loves to have a booth at a lot of these trade shows, no matter if it's in Europe, no matter if it's in Dubai, mm -hmm. no matter if it's in America. But you've been to a lot more than me. And I want to gauge and see what our different responses are. But yeah. I want to touch on what is one super big question or a common question that you've always gotten at these trade shows? Okay, what's very important for me is to really educate people that we are the manufacturers. We have we have R and D, so everything is in house in Germany. We don't have to outsource anything. It is what it is. We are a German based company that manufactures here, and we have our people here. And obviously now with our office in the United States, we'll be able to deliver faster. And with the service going on that you're providing, it is like the perfect match. And this is a question, maybe I got, I get that asked a lot because, yeah. you know, they think we are like a company that is everywhere around the world. And they ask that because they think, are you a provider? Are you a distributor? Mm -hmm. No, we're the manufacturer. And that's very important because if we see something and the demand is high, we can adjust because we have our R&D. Okay. That's probably something you're also familiar with because you dive deep into that and you, you have like feedback going on and we take your feedback and we take it to R&D as well. You are right. I will say, honestly, that's probably the same thing that I get as well. We have to make the point that we're the manufacturer. And I'll also say that we have to make the point that we don't sell T-shirts, especially yeah. at the trade shows. Guys, that's the biggest highlight of our booth. If you've seen our booth before, anybody that ever sees our booth, they say, wow, I love those shirts. Can I buy one? Can I have one? Can I take it? Please. We don't sell T-shirts. Sadly, we just sell the material that makes those beautiful T-shirts, but we don't sell the T-shirts. So that's a big one for me. So I totally agree with you on that. Now, do you remember your first trade show? Like your, your first, first, first... My very first trade show was my first day at Forever. <laughs> I was this young girl and I was invited to the trade show. We didn't have our own booth, but we had a booth with a distributor mm -hmm. and I had to learn Flex of No Cut. So back then we would take pictures of the people and then put it into Photoshop, have a Photoshop action in order to make a rasterized image with, it was like of silver, I think. People could ju choose, I don't know, but it was like the A and B process. For me, it was very confusing at this time, you know, because I didn't know a lot about heat transfer in general, but I liked the, like showing it until it's finished. And let's be honest, how boring would that be to just show plain paper? Honestly, how can you just hang plain paper? It is what it is. We need to show the finished product. 
because right. that's what's important. Obviously, you can stop by and Chris is going to show you how it works. I'm going to show you how it works, but you cannot show just plain media. It's always no. about the process. It's about the innovation. It's about the look, the feel, and it's about how it feels on the t-shirt, right? Right. It's the full okay. process. It's not just the blank piece of paper. Can you imagine how boring our booth would be if we just had pieces of paper just everywhere and explaining it? So I love how interactive our boots usually are. We have the yeah. heat presses ready. Sometimes we even have the printers there. We're printing actively, pressing actively for just about everybody that comes in. And you know what? I think it's kind of funny that you say your first trade show was your first day here because my trade show, my first trade show was my first week here. Yeah. I'm not kidding. I started Carlos trained me for a few days and then boom, the next week I was at Long Beach. I can remember. I do remember. Do you know that that was the first time we met? I think that was the key. And I think for customers out there, this is something they get overwhelmed because maybe they want to do it all at the same time. But for me as well, I had to learn all at the same time. It is also, it was also slightly different back then than now because now we're ha so many other products. Mm -hmm. And I feel like just at the beginning, learn one product, one week, the next product, the next week, and set yourself, yeah, set yourself up for success because mm -hmm. it is the feel for the product. It's, you can see it, you can look, but you will never feel how it behaves when you peel. It is something you have to get a feeling for. That's definitely, that's my advice. Would it be yours? Just it is my advice as well. You have to get a feel. I tell everyone to practice first. And even everyone that inquires with me on the Instagram page or through Facebook, I love to send out samples because I don't want people to go out and spend a lot of money on an order and they waste through a lot of it. I'll send you a sample. Test it out. See how to get through those errors as you go through it to get a perfect product at the end. So I totally agree. You can't just pick it up, start working with it and go from there. It does take some learning to get it done. So one week at a time and just slowly so, add to your inventory. Basically, that that's so great that you're sending out the samples, because honestly, if I would get the sample that that's also something I want to address because it's something that is very important to me. You get yeah, these yeah. samples and then you don't need to print just a single design on one sample. You just print four designs, for example, and then you cut it just to get the feel maybe for the B paper, which is yeah. very important. So you have like four times to practice, basically. And if you if you have that sample and you feel like, oh, there's slightly a little more that, that's missing, you could buy a batch. I don't know how, how many you have to buy. It depends obviously on your distributor, but for me it would be something I would I would have a budget for, you know? Yeah. If you if you have a training, if you like to become something, a skilled worker, you would also pay it thousand euro maybe yeah dollar cost of 500 at least yeah. but if you if you calculate that in paper and media that's pretty much to just practice and you send out samples you can get samples at the booth you just yeah. have to ask that's it and that's something it's very important to me that you also have to have to set yourself a goal mm -hmm. you have that amount you want to spend on your education and you also get the help no. Right, right. And I love that about us because we come in many different forms of support. You're all over the YouTube channel. You're all over the Instagram channel. I'm all over the Instagram channel providing information to everybody almost every single day. So when you do happen to buy a forever product, you have us. We're right here. We're ready to talk. We're jumping on these lives, these podcasts. I have a live every Friday at 1 p.m. where I talk about the industry, the products, do demos. We're actively here. So even while you're going through that budget, so you're spending more on material to practice through, but you're getting some of these media concepts like my live video or Juanita's YouTube videos for free. So you still get those access to those materials where you can still learn and get your business going super, super quick and super easy. So I love forever for that. And just thank you, Juanita, for just being kind of my right hand. And as we assist everybody in the industry, I could, I didn't want to do it with anybody else. Really, really. It, it is, you know, it is such a fun and creative job. And I also like the way we are handling our own mistakes. 
because sometimes we ask each other and then it's just one simple thing and you're like obviously i didn't have the settings but the other one had this for like a month prior to me and then it's like we help each other because i feel like practice makes perfect and mistakes are no mistakes either you what do you say either you succeed or you learn right that's it yeah that is it you I do like not process. fail guys that's one of my favorite phrases you do not fail either you succeed or you learn something but you don't fail along the way once you start thinking like that that negativity is going to continue to go up but then what happens when it needs to come down you're going to crash and in this type of industry where you have to be creative where you have to stay on top of customers where you're basically running your own business you want to stay as positive as you can so keep yourself in a good limelight at all points and don't give up cuz what need to say it practice makes perfect i thought let's jump in here and just talk about how did you become an expert already you know Man. help help the people out well to become an expert this fast i will have to say my first one is just by being supported by an amazing company like forever you guys threw me well let me say carlos i know you're going to watch this carlos threw me head first into everything that is toner that is transfer printing that is the transfer printing industry and i couldn't have asked for better in that He was an amazing trainer and I just think being thrown into that material is a bit better than just reading a book or watching a video on YouTube. I really got hands on, no kidding, my first day working here at Forever. I mean, Carlos gave me the heat press, he gave me some transfers. He said, "Here's how to do it and just go for it." And I practiced all day and I just kept going from there. So, just being around people like Carlos forever and then meeting company owners meeting people that are inside of these companies like Creo or like Sawgrass and getting insider information that is just a lot more helpful it really made me kind of catapult in this industry so thankful to everyone i've met along this journey you guys have been great this last year and a half and i can't wait to make friends for the rest of my life in the garment printer industry yes but it, for me personally it's insane how you've grown to become like this person for others just support system and just someone they can relate to because you are pretty new but still a face that everyone recognizes right for right. for me it feels like this and what i like about you that you're authentic and the way you are talking is how how our customers talk we are just regular normal people and we want to know how to get into the business so i would like to know what was like the first product you you got your hands on like hmm. the very first product and your very first experience the first product that i got my hands on i think was our laser dark no cut It was not good the first few times I will say I did not get a good transfer at all. I literally after watching Carlos complete three or two or three transfers, I still was not able to do it. But like I said that practice really. And I think back to your point about me just being a people person, I'm new. I I just started in this industry like a lot of these people. Some people haven't even been here for 6 months or 3, 4, 5 years. I'm still just as new as those guys. So I am kind of at the same level. I'm learning at the same rate, I'm trying at the same rate, and I just want to be able to relay that information to you guys in a way that's not a sales pitch. I don't sell these materials. I don't gain any incentive from going out there saying, "Hey, buy forever flex off and I'm going to get 10 bucks." Not at all. So I just tell people exactly how it is. I'm very honest with you at all times, and I just want that when I'm shopping around for products. So I'm just going to be an example of what I'm looking for when I'm out there trying to buy something to make a profit and to make a business from it. Yeah, that's something I can relate to because for me, the first thing I thought about forever is you can make a t-shirt. You you can grow a bit business and I didn't even know that there's such a market and such a demand for personalized t-shirt business and other items, merchandise and stuff, you know, and I didn't yeah. even know what's the difference between sublimation i don't come from this market so i was somewhere else and then i thought okay they are telling me now that this is a huge thing my first product was flex of no cap for instance and i didn't know what heat transfer vinyl is but in order to really understand what flex of this i had to learn what heat transfer vinyl is and i had to i really had to learn the struggles of heat transfer vinyl and the weeding and the plotting and the cutting you know that's that's 
a printing method, you have to understand in order to really see the advantages of a different product or like a niche product. It doesn't have to be like better than the other one, but sometimes it's also about adding up on your product range, right? Yeah, that's just it. I love these trade shows because I get to go and see all of these printing methods in one place. I can go see screen printing, which is one of the oldest methods of printing t-shirts. I can go see DTF. I can go see vinyl. I can go and see all of these processes. And I recommend that for everybody that's out there. If you are not sure of which printer method to go for, what option to go for, check out a trade show. They're having all of these printers set up inside of there. So you can make that estimate for yourself of how you want to gauge your business. So I love it for that reason. Screen printing is the same way. I had to learn all about vinyl. And I will say being at Forever, it's kind of hard not to learn about vinyl because we are like vinyl's enemy, right? We don't have any (laughs) weeding. We don't have any cutting with our products. So we have to know about what makes us a bit better than others out there, right? That's right. And you're right. If you want to learn about the industry, you will go for a show like a fair. And us as Long Beach, we are pretty much many fairs. Like, where are we? Printing United, ISA, and you are going as well. So it's not always a a booth that we have. It's also like we're sending people out there. But you know what I've been missing for the past year or like since after COVID? I feel like people, people search for the innovations without even knowing what is already there, like the basics and what they can achieve with the basics. And sometimes they are so surprised about what they can do with a regular laser printer, assume by K laser printer. And because it's not new to us, it's not an innovation from now. It is maybe from the past few years, but they didn't even get to dive deep into this topic. And I feel like because they are searching for something new, it's like looking through, how you call it? It's like looking only to the newest thing, like DT, newest innovation, DTF this, DTF that, screen printing, DTG. And then there is a part that is a basic. And you don't get to know that on the trade shows because, of course, you're going to be there because you want to show the people your new innovation. And not like the old products, but the old products are the basic that people can also learn. And it's sometimes like the low budget equipment that can start you right away. You just have to really take an effort. Like you, for for instance, it's like your effort defined how long it took for you in order to be at this level and at this skill. We are going to do this like a lot more and we yeah. always have to cover anything so we can just, yeah. But You're you know, right. I, I'm, if you're going out there and if you're searching for like the F samples and stuff, ask yourself or ask the company if they can show you a printed design that they just did and show you how it works. Yes. Because some of them are like humidity, no anti-static. You know, yeah, and that's also very important for you. It's not like me telling you that. It's just very important to you to really ask them that they show the whole process and not just something they didn't do on site. Okay. All right. Let me be a little messy. Let me spill some tea. Okay, guys, I'm recommending to go to these trade shows. But while you are there, also be cautious. I won't go into too much detail about that, but I will say that I would be more mindful of vendors that are not printing and pressing on site, plain and simple. I want them to print and press. If they're not, if they just have designs ready to go and t-shirts already made, here it is, look at it, boom, bye. I want to see a little bit more than that. So if they're not doing that on site, maybe, maybe reconsider them a little bit. Not naming names. You know who I'm talking about because you guys are going to watch. A lot of you guys watch us. But just be mindful to all the amazing customers out there because you want transparency in the market. And like I said, with me and Juanita and our entire team, at every trade show, we're ready to show these products off. We have heat presses, 300-pound heat presses that we're sending all across the country every single trade show. Three or four of them, guys, around the country every time we go out. If another company can't do that and we're all the way in Germany, I would be mindful. Just going to leave that piece there. So no, on that, our left, yeah. oh, what? go ahead, go ahead. Well, I'm, I'm really like, you know, that story sell, but, but the facts and what you see is something 
I don't need to sell you. You just right. walk and you just see what the product can do. And that's especially me that is not a salesperson at all. I'm marketing. Right. Okay, you're selling a little different, but it's for me, it doesn't come naturally, the whole sales process. So I like to show it, right. you know, and that's, that's where you can get them. Absolutely perfect. So Juanita, until next time, I think we'll go ahead and just close out here for today. I have absolutely loved talking with you. We are going to do this. I hope we have time to do this every single week. Yeah, really? Actually, at this point, we should just meet. We should talk. We should do this and bring this to everyone out there because yeah. I love sharing it. We have a lot more to bring to the table, guys. So stay tuned for a lot more. We'll be doing demonstrations. We'll be doing talks. We'll be talking about the biggest things in the industry, showing off new products. Heck, even probably talking about competitors' products along the way. So continue to join us. I want to say every week right now, but continue to join us until I can certifically, uh, certainly say we're going to be here every week. But continue to join us as we do these talks. Myself and Juanita. Follow us both on Instagram, mine, Forever Transfers USA, hers, Forever Transfers, both with an S, and follow our company page on YouTube and Facebook, Forever Transfers, where we have a lot of great material. A lot of new stuff will also be coming up, and these episodes may even start to get posted on there. So stay tuned, like, and subscribe to everything. Juanita, I'm going to let you say any closing remarks if you would like to, and then we'll get yeah. out of here. Yes. Um... Basically, me and Chris are building a Forever Insider community, which is a newsletter that will include special videos on how to be successful with your t-shirt business. It is not always related to um, our media, but also, and it has some insights on the business, like the how to start a business, the marketing part, the copywriting, everything that's helpful. And um, you can just join by subscribing to our newsletter and everything else is for free. But just make sure to be an insider. Otherwise, you will not have access to those videos. You will not. And I mean, we're going to have a lot of good information. Yeah. If you've been following me for a while, you know I love talking about money. So that's a big thing that we're going to be touching on and everything along the way. Big trends in Etsy, big trends in the garment printing industry and how to move forward and stay on top of it with forever. So as we get out of here, guys, I want to close it out. I love yeah. saying my little phrases or I have something for everything. So I'll close this episode out by saying, hey, we're not here to help you stay in the printing industry for a day. We're not here to help you stay in the printing industry for a month. We're here to help you stay in the printing industry forever. So thank you for joining me and Juanita here on our first episode, but hopefully not our last episode of our Forever TV podcast series. But until next time, guys, we'll holler at you all soon. Ciao, ciao.